hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is chapter 7, Life and Death. And now we're going to be taking control of the character known as Dr. Karen Howell. This is the character, or I should say the girl, that left us behind in the uh, hydroponics area. Well, we of course have uh, a loading screen. It's mandatory and I dislike it. Oh, there we go. Oh, she's making a video this log for YouTube. Karen Howell, agricultural engineer. Even the water facilities aren't safe anymore. And the creature I saw down there was huge. And the poor souls I met there are surely dead by now. Think again. As is I took everyone care of it. Else, I haven't found a single living survivor since I've left hydroponics. And what I've seen of the creatures indicates they have an ecology. A culture. They hunt in packs. They harvest their prey. Oh, poop. They're not monsters. They're animals. Deadly animals. Like a lion. There is nothing to do but run. I'm going to take a tram. Actually, lions are pretty beautiful. Maybe I'll find some other survivors. But very there. dangerous. But I doubt it. And now we're going to get a new weapon, which is right off to our right here. What the heck is that on the monitor? What the? Did you see that? Oh, what? What's in the security cam? Oh man, I'm going crazy too. And now I'm seeing things. God help me. Okay, grab this thingy here. You don't. Well, she'll grab it automatically. This is a new weapon. I believe it's called the Ripper. Um, it's this thing right here. It's basically a uh, a remote controlled saw blade. It's ridiculous to control. Like the closer you have it to the closer you have it to the TV screen the further away the is blade is, but it's so, like, jittery. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. But all you have to do is hold, I should say, press the B button, activate it, then just chop up enemies. Oh, boy. Uh, you can open up some of those lockers. Okay, here's the saw blade. Uh, see how bad that is? Uh, well, I guess because I didn't really have much time to react, but I'm going to try and chop them up. See that? It's 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 very very hard to control, and if you touch Hello? things with it, it the saw blade like automatically stops, and you don't have a lot of weapons for it. So, well, not excuse me, not weapons. I mean ammunition. So stick with your rivet gun, and I think you'll be a lot happier. Oh, there's some ripper ammunition there. Okay, so I'm just gonna going to stasis you just to be safe, and I'm gonna take out Pants McGee over here, and especially you, because you're right in my face, too. And now Pants McGee is gonna go down. You, the other guy was a lot faster than Pants McGee. And there we go. That makes me a happy beaver. Wait, did I say beaver? Okay, now look for like, these lockers here. You can open them up and grab stuff that's inside them. Here's a text log. You know the drill. Just pause the video if you want to read it. Done. And what's in here? More ripple and ripper ammo. So I guess you do get a lot more ammo than I thought. My bad. But I still don't recommend that you use the ripper. Grab that. What? Yes, there is. Grab this thing and throw it at those guys. Oh, I missed. Poopers. Well, that's okay. I killed him. I'm gonna stasis you right in the middle of the doorway there. Oh, oh no 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 no! I don't think so. Oh no no no! You don't. You ain't going anywhere as long as I can help it. And what the heck? He just—he just kind of like got himself stuck there on the on that goo over there. That was kind of silly. And there we go. Now what do you mean? There's no way out. I didn't take any damage there. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give weapon upgrade, contact beam upgrade, woo! Yeah, baby, you're going down. No problem whatsoever. Uh, since you start off as this character, you don't have a lot of other weapons, basically, uh, because you're a completely separate character from the main set, so to speak. Uh, that's why she only has the rivet gun and the ripper. Come on, come on. And so that, that's also why the, the 
difficulty seems to be decreased quite a bit. I mean, this these guys, there isn't a lot of guys in this room, as you can see. I'm, I'm not having any trouble taking care of them whatsoever, as you can see. And, and I'm just using stasis and my rivet gun. So, there's a big drop in the difficulty if you're used to using the rivet gun like me. But if you're used to, used, used to using other weapons, then you might be a little bit thrown off. And, uh, I should say, the rivet gun combined with stasis. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, the the stasis... Oh, no, 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 the stasis itself, uh, you have to upgrade by getting stars, if I'm not mistaken. Like, the better your ranks for stages are, the better your star ranking. I mean, the better and longer your stasis will be. Or at least that's what I heard from those, like, little loading screens. Uh, I didn't really notice much of a difference because I use uh, stasis pretty sparingly. And how did you hit me so far away, dang it? Ah! Well, anyway, that's done. And now I can go through this door. Wahoo! Doop -boo. Alright, let's see what's through here. What the heck? Huh? What are you talking about? Wait, are, is this voice in my head again? Calm down. Huh? Open this door. By the way, you're gonna get a surprise attack by something soon. You don't have to shoot it at all. Just saying. Uh, I'll, I'll sh you'll see which one it is. And for some reason, I could look through the elevator doors there. Here comes the surprise. Yeah, and that was nothing. Come on. Any day now. Elevator music. Do, 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 do. Okay, now we're all. Man, this girl's really losing it. She's seeing all sorts of doodles and dead bodies and stuff all on the walls and... Oh my god. Ooh, pulse rifle. Me want. Oh, right, that one's a... Uh... Oh, that door's unlocked. Oh, Cooper's. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's also um, a false... A false shot. I mean, a false scare, so to speak. My god. And grab that. That's a ripper upgrade. Yes, Lexine! How badly are you hurt? I I'm not sure. I feel really sick. Again? Are you a doctor? Well, kind of, yeah. Yes, my name's Karen Howell. There's a medical room just around the corner. Can you walk? I think so. Alright, let's go, Lexine. The creatures are still out there. Sorry. Never mind. Let's fix you up. Alright, let's go through here. This door is still open, though surprisingly there's a My hologram head. between rooms. I think I need to light on. Don't worry, there's a table for you right here. Again, Grab as much of this stuff in your in this room can as you, you possibly that, can. Uh, because this is the only chance you'll have to be in this room. There's another boss battle coming up, so, uh, now, yeah, minor spoilers, kitchen. just thought I'm I would say that. Up an antibiotic that'll give your system a kickstart and clear your head. Awesome. And this is what working up an antibiotic is. Uh, just a needle, a spare needle lying over there, and it's filled with just the right amount of stuff, and might I add, she did not even push that into her skin at all. There was no injection. There. Plus, she didn't sanitize now, the area, area with some alcohol. Here? Nor did she even tr attempt to pull Alexi. up her sleeve. I can't uh, that's some column. bad medical practices. We'll that's why I say maybe she's a doctor. In the water Grab that. Ripper ammo. Dear God, I saw them. They're here? Where? Lexine, I'm sorry. They were attacked. I don't think they survived. What? Think again. No! You don't know Nate. He wouldn't let them die. We have, we have to go, to go back, back to the tunnels, tunnels and find them. Indeed. All right. If that's what you want. But then we have to look for a way off the ship. Okay? Oh, definitely, yes. Okay. Let's go. I definitely want both of those things. 
open sesame. Oh, gimme, gimme. Yay! Contact beam! I'll take that. And can I open that? Yes, I can. Pulse rifle, open! Here comes the boss. Get your rivet gun ready. You don't need anything else other than this rivet gun, but other weapons do make this fight a bit easier. Now when we go back to this area, there's gonna be a little surprise waiting for us. Um, this is one of the few times where you actually need to use stasis. I should say use stasis for a fight. Like besides that other boss fight. Not the times you can just usually power through it just by using powerful weapons to mow down a load of enemies at once. Oh, poopers! And Lexine is once again incredibly unlucky because the monster goes for her first. Okay, now what you want to do is you're going to automatically back away. Now, as this creature is coming towards you, grab or grab, <laughs> slow down, nice. And when it's coming to charge towards you, stasis set, and then you're going to automatically move. And then you can shoot its back. Its back is its vulnerable, uh, vulnerable point. Uh, as, as I just showed you, you can grab its little gooey balls there and shoot them back at them. Boop! This boss fight is incredibly easy if you know what to do. In fact, I'm not even sure I will take a hit at all. Because his attacks are very easily blocked. Like, doo -doo -doo, boop! And as you can see, it's also very easy to grab and throw back those explosive goo balls. And what I mean about making the fight easier for yourself if you have uh, other guns is when its back is turned towards you and is vulnerable, you can do more damage to it. Like, I'm just gonna do... I don't know I use the rip. That thing's like the most horrible thing ever. And shoot a ball. Or not. I'll just stasis you. Whoop. There we go. As you can see, this is like nothing. And now I'm just going to shoot its back with uh, this, this rifle there. And now its its shoulders are vulnerable. And now what you want to do is shoot this thing in midair. And, or just grab it and throw it back at him. That works too. Boop! Stasis it. And now I should be able to shoot at its shoulder blades like that. And eventually its arm is going to come off. And then it's going to go to phase three of the battle. So... And it looks like another stasis is in order. No problem. And... Oops, switch weapons. Take off his arm. Come on, there. Oh, a little more. And I'm gonna grab... Oh, I thought it was gonna shoot something at me. I was gonna, this time, shoot... Or grab its gooey ball and shoot it back at him. There we go. There goes its arm, for the win, and now phase 3 is going to be starting really soon. Okay, grab this, throw it back at him like that, no problem whatsoever. Grab, throw, really, really easy I have to say. And I can just shoot him like that if you, if you want to as well, and eventually uh, she'll, move, she'll move to a different place, um, or maybe not, because usually where I battle him is down that little corridor down there, next to the door to the left. Anyway, he's gonna be shooting his ball thing. There we go. And I just need to grab it and shoot it back at him until he's dead. Just like that! And that's the end of the boss battle. Yep, seriously. I took no hits from that whatsoever. That's incredibly easy to do, too. Well, if you know the timing. You did, you did it! I know. All right, let's go. Yeah, this this right here is where I thought I would normally fight him, but I guess you'll end up fighting him where you end up fighting him. Where are you going? The water tunnel.